Hello, you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm fresh back, guys. Not long back, I should say, from a fantastic meet-up again, guys, with the brilliant Nerdy Geezer and Gaming Grandad. This time, myself and Chris made our way over to Lee's place. And, uh, oh, my word, did we have a fabulous time again, guys. Just chilling out, talking about everything to do with gaming and youtube we give each other hints and tips and tricks and god knows what else um yeah it was just an absolutely fantastic time and as we met up like that guys we decided to make some videos as well so we've each made a video so chris has done his which is a fantastic video guys look out for that coming very soon because oh it, it's just awesome guys you'll see what i mean and uh then Lee did his as well, which he's already posted up, guys, uh, where he asks a fantastic question. So, if you want to know what that question is that he asked me and Chris, linked below is Lee's channel, guys, The Nerdy Geezer. Head over there, and then you'll find out from his video. Now, mine is a question as well, guys, put to the to the two fellas. Um, and my question is, quite simply, guys, over the years, what system have you spent the most money on? And that includes, you know, if you had to rebuy it, you know, you had, say, for instance, you had a Saturn, but you sold it and then you had to rebuy it. So taking all that into account, guys, games, system, peripherals, how many times you've had to buy them and what have you, taking all that into account, what is the system they have spent the most money on? And let's see how interesting their answers are going to be, guys. Because I think they're going to be very, very interesting indeed. So, without further ado, would you like to join myself, the fantastic Nerdy Geezer and Gaming Grandad, as we invade his flat <laughs> and ask some fantastic questions. In my case, how much money have you actually spent on the system? And uh, which one did you spend the most on? Right, back in a sec, guys. Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and look who I'm joined by, the fantastic Nerdy Geezer and Gaming Grandad. Hi everybody. And we have come and invaded, like Germans do, in my case, <laughs> <laughs> it's home, yeah, uh, to ask a very, very cool question in my mind and I'm very interested to see what the guys are going to answer here. So, shall I just put the question out to you? Yeah, go for it. Where shall we start? Chris? Yeah, okay. yeah you can with Chris. Yeah. What is the platform, the console, including games, peripherals, and it doesn't matter how many times you bought it in the past and rebought it, that you spent the most money on? Oh, that's pretty easy, really, and that is the fantastic Commodore Amiga 1200. Wow. Yeah. The reason I spent so much money, I spent a lot of time on it uh, buying original games, yeah. expansion cards, mm -hmm. uh, because disk drive now the Amiga mm. disk drive fantastic uh, uh, little peripheral that was yeah. and uh, you could buy so much for the Amiga it was quite expensive in the day we're yeah. talking um, 80s yeah that's so it yeah. it was it was an yeah. expensive machine but yes definitely the Amiga yeah. fantastic machine even to this day it's my favorite uh um, yeah, computer, 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 computer yeah. of all time yeah. 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 and you weren't naughty and just copied discs you actually bought oh yeah. I copied this all the time <laughs> we used to go we, all? we used yeah. to go down to a club yeah. and there was rows of uh, people with their machines mm. and you only needed a copy of X copy yeah, yeah. and two disc drives and you were well away yeah. you'd go home with a big stack of games like yeah. this <laughs> well it's funny because I, I remember with the Amiga 500 me and my friends we used to take turns and we used to buy the actual proper game yeah then the rest would copy, copy it, it. That's yeah. right. and then we'd have the Same. cheeky of taking it back yeah oh we've done that before yeah. yeah yeah I think you used to have that once didn't you 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, also, man. even with the Commodore 64, you used to be able to copy them tapes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. On, yeah. On, yeah. A, on a, on a, um, a, a twin, twin, twin tape deck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to have a. What was it? A Whopper, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I used to have the two. Yeah, and I used to do that all the time on the Commodore 64. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, great system. Yeah. The, the 1200. Yeah, absolutely. Loved it. Yeah. Cracking and, games on it. Yeah, and, and such a sought after piece now. Yeah, I always. Yeah. The thing is, I, was, I think I said this on the last video. When I started my game room, mm. it was only a month before I sold one for three hundred pound. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And now oh. I, oh. I wish I'd got it back. I, I yeah. sold my five hundred plus and my twelve hundred, so yeah. I'm doubly oh, regretting no. it. So yeah. <laughs> especially now. I've still got my original 500, um, but yeah, I sold the rest off. I'm yeah. it over time. Yeah. I've got a 600 now, yeah. Um, but it's yeah. I still will, I will get a 1200. Yeah, mm. that's it. Yeah, it's one of those things you just got to be just patient to get the right deal. You will always get yeah. it if you just wait. It Absolutely. will come to you. It, it will come to you. It's destiny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Right, and Lee, what is yours? Right, so mine is actually a more current system than people probably are thinking, mm. and that's the PS4. Mm. So there's a re few reasons for that. First one I had failed, so I had to buy the Slim. Yeah. yeah. So that's already what about six hundred pounds just on yeah, the two yeah. systems alone. Just on two systems, yeah. And then there's all the games I've bought for mm. it, controllers I've bought for it, controllers I've replaced because Connor's broke them. <laughs> As we know from a, <laughs> a video not so long ago when yeah, you were talking about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anybody not, who watches my channel will be, yeah. won't be news to them. They're not child profile, eh? <laughs> no, yeah, exactly I mean, when you're paying around 45 to 50 quid per mm, controller, yeah. you know, it soon mounts up. Yeah, so. that is the trouble. Yeah. yeah, and then of course, you know, online service, mm. you know, I've got the online service for yeah. PS4, that costs every month. Um, and even to go online to play games online again, another service because mm. they're both separate that costs too. So, yeah, all costs, yeah. yeah, I'd definitely say at the moment PS4 is mm. probably the most I've spent oh. on a system. And do you actually buy the like the uh, limited run games and things like that? Do you spend that kind of money? No, you know what? I don't go down that rabbit hole because, yeah, no, I haven't either. No. Most cases, limited run games they tell you, oh, it's only coming out on limited run, and you find mm. it doesn't, it comes yeah. out on other stuff. If they've got enough call for it, definitely, you're right, they will bring it back. It is not limited to that. Good, good example, mm. Star Wars Republic Commando, mm. limited run for the Switch. Yeah, It's coming out on a double pack now, and it's cheaper than I think it was on limited run. Oh, see, this is it. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean the original one will still hold its value a bit, mm. but it already makes it seem like pointless, mm. Yeah, which is a real shame, because it's a good idea. Mm. What's the most expensive game you've bought in mm. PS4? Oh, God, now you're asking. Probably Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. And two reasons for that. One, because it's Star Wars, it's Disney, and they're greedy. Mm. <laughs> right? There's no other way of putting it. Yeah. And the other reason is because I had to buy it twice, because the boys wanted it as well. We wanted oh, to play online. Right. Yeah. So that was that would definitely be the one that cost me the most. Yeah. yeah that's Is that the one you spent the most time on? Probably, that, that yeah. Game? We played it online a lot, yeah. I mean, it's fifty nine ninety nine. that was when it came out. Yeah. You've got to pay it at that price. That's it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. you've got to, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Get yeah. Money out of thing. It. I mean, there's nothing more disappointing than buying, you know, a game that's cost you like 60 quid or something, to get it home and then think, oh my God, this is absolute crap. Yeah. Well, or you get a couple yeah. of hours out of it. Well, and yeah. it. That, that's another story, because there were problems with it, a lot of problems. Like, so there were things that were missing, and then they tried all that loot crate rubbish, because it's EA. Oh, God, yeah. So oh, the, yeah. I was quite irritated when I bought them to start with, I can't mm. be honest. But yeah, oh. they done away with that, they fixed it. But yeah, yeah that Bloody was definitely the system I spent the most on, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it, it figures, doesn't it? Because it is, a, you know, a modern system. You, mm. pay, you do pay more from these yeah. days. I mean, when you think back, I remember buying brand new, so Mega Drive games, no costing twenty nine quid at maximum. Yeah. And now you're talking like for a nice released triple A title, you're looking at sixty quid. Yeah. Anything up to sixty mm -hmm. quid. Um so yeah, it well, completely sounds to reason. Say sixty, I mean with PS five it's gonna be even more than that. Oh isn't it, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so absolutely, on yeah. some titles. So. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Well, I'm not I'm not being tempted with that yet, and I don't no, think I will be for a while. Yeah. PS five. Yeah. yeah, no, I have been tempted because I played my son in law's one, but they actually uh, rang me the other day and said, oh, look, we've got another one, which we ordered by mistake. Do you want it? And I just went, no, thanks. Yeah. It's just too much. It's yeah. too much. You can't warrant it sometimes, you know. Plus, if you're spending all that money on that, there's other things. Yeah. yeah. There's other things you want in life. Yeah. yeah. 
Right guys, I guess it's my turn now. What have I spent the most money on? Um, well, it might come as a surprise to people because they'll be thinking, oh, he's going to say Dreamcast or um, 3DO or whatever. Um, but actually, it is uh, an Atari. It is the Jag, guys. Because already way back when the Atari Jaguar was sort of like just being pulled off the shelves because it was the biggest flop in history probably at the time, um, I went into a little shop in Maidstone in Kent and I picked up an Atari Jaguar, believe it or not, fully boxed, brand new, for 20 quid. And then the games were a fiver each. He was just banging them out. So I bought, I do believe, about 10 games, including the, obviously, boxed Atari Jaguar. And I was happy as Larry. But as time went on, of course, the prices just went up and up and up. And I have literally forked out over £100 for a game in the past. Um and yeah it's just so expensive even just buying the controllers guys is expensive the controllers can go for anything up to 40 quid if they're boxed also um your modern tv out cables aren't exactly cheap either which i've got so that i can use it on a modern tv mm. um and yeah just having all those all those titles guys i mean aliens versus predator in mint condition 125 quid at least if not more um, but there's been some fantastic titles on the Tara Jaggy, but there's also been awful ones as well. But I had to have them all. So that's where my money's gone on the Atari <laughs> Jaguar. Um, but I just love it. I love it down right down to the cartridges. I know it's not everybody's uh, cup of tea, but I like the way it looks almost like one of these Japanese structures. Yeah, you know, I was with, a, say, yeah, with yeah. a curved top. Yeah, love yeah. it. It's a lovely um, looking machine. That yeah, one. that's it. Yeah, and i tell you what, the, the really good titles on that are mm. brilliant. And yeah. it looks good in a dentist surgery. It does, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I tell you what, it is incredible. Tell I've them this story. Mentioned this many times before, but once Atari obviously stopped support for it, the patent for the actual system got put out there, guys, uh, for sale. And yeah, a dental manufacturer bought the patent and they then used it as a, a sterilizing unit and all sorts of other things. Even the memory card and uh, cartridge and what have you, they were repurposed and made into like data collection uh, cards and what have you. It is just incredible. Uh, obviously, I've inserted pictures, shall we say, here in the middle. <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, what a bloody tragedy for that to end up that way in dental surgeries. It wouldn't, you couldn't make it up, could you? Yeah, no. but it, it's that for these days, it's recycling. Yeah. That's it, it's re, it is recycling. <laughs> That's yeah. true, yeah, they were onto something yeah. back then. Yeah, yeah absolutely. They, they were yeah. ahead of their time. Yeah, <laughs> and it makes you wonder, doesn't it, if anybody, you know, who's a massive collector has actually purchased one of them just to have it. Just to, yeah. yeah. Well, novelty, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would really, really like to know if anybody has, because I'd be tempted if I saw one. Yeah. You know, yeah. Check, check eBay. <laughs> That's it, check eBay. Dental, uh, yeah, Atari Jaguar. Very interesting indeed. And what a, you know, absolutely not a shock really for that to end up like that. Mm. Yeah, oh well. So yeah. they, they could have been sitting in the dentist chair right yeah. next to the Tarby Jaguar yeah, shell. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. Getting tortured by it, no doubt, probably. Because I think the uh, the unit does all sorts, but a lot of it was uh, to do with hygiene and things, mm. I think. Yeah, so. Yeah, 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 I think you're right. Yeah. Right. There we are, that was my answer. So, yeah, thank you guys for, uh, well, thank you for letting us come here in the first place. Yeah, and you're very, your you're very, very nice welcome. Yeah, yeah, very very nice yeah. And thank you for joining us, guys. Again, please comment below, guys, what is the system you have spent the most money on over the years? doesn't matter if you've re-bought it over and over again. Obviously, the games, um, the system itself, and any peripherals that you've bought, what has drained your pockets the most? Because we would definitely like to know, wouldn't we? What other sure people have yeah, yeah. spent way too much money on. Oh, no, you can't <laughs> spend too much money. Yeah, you can't really. Yeah, well, I think my missus would disagree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think yeah, mine yeah, would. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, and with that, guys, thank you. And we're going to say bye-bye. Bye. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye, guys. See you later, guys. Bye. Wow. Did those answers surprise you guys? Oh, I mean... You know, my pick, obviously, was the Atari Jaguar, guys. This little baby here. This fantastic bloody machine, guys. That I've spent way too much bloody money on over the years. What a doozy, guys. Yeah, the underdog once again.
becomes very expensive and I've spent a ton on it over the years but it's an investment guys because they're cartridge based so you haven't got the older yeah disc rot problem and all that guys so once you put them under plastic those cartridges and their boxes will survive very nicely thank you so what a beautiful bloody machine and of course I've got the uh, the CD as well the Jaguar CD um, so yeah, I've spent a lot of money on this thing over the years, but over a long period of time, guys. Yeah. But what did you think of Chris and Lee's picks? Um, there you go, Chris Gaming Grandad picked the Amiga, didn't he? Again, what a bottomless pit of a machine that is. So many peripherals, tons and tons of bloody games, and like nearly countless games. Um, yeah, just absolute ton to collect for that machine, and what a beautiful bloody machine any of the Amigas are, guys. Um, and what a fantastic console to collect for. And then Lee, of course, came along with a modern console, guys. And he picked the PS4 as being his money pit, if you like. Um, because, yeah, again, guys, like Lee said, his first one, it went kaput. So he had to buy another system. So he spent already like 600 quid just on, on the consoles. That's with all, all the games, guys. He's got a ton of games. And, they're, you know, they're not cheap at the best of times, especially... You know, before the PS5 came out, they were quite pricey, weren't they? Even second hand. So, yet again, controllers, you know, 40 to 50 pound for a controller. And like you said, like my Josh and Oliver, they, uh, yeah, the kids go for them like crazy. So, Connor has busted a few in his time. Um, so, yeah, that every time, guys, 40 to 50 quid or 45 to 50 quid. So, yeah, what an expensive console, guys. But, like I said in the video, guys, what would you pick? What do you think you have spent the most on? What console have you drained your pockets the most on over the years, guys? And as I said earlier, doesn't matter if it's uh, looking at it from the point of view of you had to rebuy it. You know, you've had to sell it at one point and rebuy it all. Games, peripherals, the lot, guys. How much have you spent and what was it on? You know, well, you're probably not going to know how much you spent. You know, I couldn't tell you how much I've spent on the Atari Jaguar. I would, I would dread to think. But, yeah, which one drained your pockets the most? Which one did you spend the most money on? Comment below, guys, because all three of us would be very interested to know your answers. To find out what other people have spent the most money on. Platform-wise, console-wise. Yeah, so very, very interesting question. I'd love to hear the answers. So yeah, guys, that was a fantastic day. What a wonderful bunch, or oh, bunch, pair of guys they are. Oh, they, they really are, guys. They are proper, proper, true friends for life. I love spending time with them. Oh, we, we just sync so well. It is fantastic when you're in their company. You feel so relaxed. It is just so natural, guys. What, oh, just, just fantastic friends, guys. But yeah, there we go again. Another fantastic day. And obviously we're planning to do another one as soon as flipping possible, guys. Uh, we've still got to get back to Chris's to turn around his uh, game room and look at the other sides and whatever. And we also want to go out and do a pickups together. So yeah, videos to come in the future, guys. And there's some more videos to come in the future from me, guys, to do with this day out today. And you will find out once Chris has posted up his video, guys, what I'm talking about. So look out for that. Like I said earlier, look out for that. It's going to be a doozy, guys. Put it this way. It involves an unboxing to start with. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, find out when he posts it up, guys. Right, now, that brings me over to the giveaway again, guys. So, yeah, as a lot of you already know, uh, I'm very close to 1,000 subs, and it's getting closer by the minute, guys. Fantastic. And I'm running a 1,000 sub thank you giveaway. So, yeah, guys, I started it quite some time ago so that everybody gets a chance of jumping on this and having a go. I want everybody to be equal, you know, and get as many people involved as possible because you all deserve it, guys, because you're all fantastic for getting me to this point in the first place, guys. But I'm going to go over the rules first. So to enter this giveaway, guys, I need you to comment on a video. And it's not this one, guys. It is linked below. It is my original giveaway video. You head over there. And you comment on there, guys. You say hello, whatever you like. But before you comment, you must make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And that you only put one comment per person. Now, if there's six people in your house and you all have a YouTube account, fine. All six of you can vote, can't you? But only one per person, guys. 
And like I said, we will check the fact that you are subscribed and that you have only made one comment per person. Now, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, guys. You can enter. I will get this prize to you no matter where you are. Even if you're, you know, living on the moon, I will get it to you one way or another. But what we're going to do then is once I reach a thousand subs, work permitting, you know, obviously if it happens while I'm at work, there's not much I can do about it. But as soon as I'm home and can do it, guys, I will pull the winner. And we're going to do that the usual way on my giveaways, a random comment generator. Me and Josh will pull the winner with a random comment generator. And then we'll make, obviously, we're making a video of it. And then we'll post it up letting you all know who the winner is. But what will you win? Well, guys, you will win a brand new and sealed still got the bloody seal on guys look at that it's got the cling wrap on it there we are yeah north american evercade portable guys beautiful beautiful machine by blaze what a fantastic machine this is oh and like i said it's a north american model guys so what does that mean well it's not region locked you can use cartridges from anywhere in the world but what it does mean is that there's a cartridge missing out of here because they couldn't get the licensing. They had licensing issues, shall we say, to get the second cartridge in here. So in the UK, you get two cartridges. In North America, you only get the one in this pack. But to make up for that, guys, so don't worry, I will make up for that. There you go, there's the back. Brilliant machine. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. You know how much I love the Evercade, guys. You will also get this, guys. A sealed Interplay Collection 2. As well, so you will get the two cartridges. So absolutely fantastic bloody cartridge to get with it. So yeah, fantastic prize for somebody, guys. There we are. So it's getting it out of the light. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, brilliant prize, guys. Now, do you own an Evercade already and you think, oh, I better not enter? Enter, guys, because this will make a fantastic present for somebody. We're right on Christmas, aren't we? We're getting there anyway. Christmas is coming, put it that way. So you make a fantastic present for maybe one of your kids, just somebody else in your family, or maybe in your friend circle, could make a brilliant Christmas present. So yes, guys, there you go. That is the giveaway. Again, linked below the video that you need to comment on to enter. And good luck to everybody who has entered already. There's been a hell of a lot of uh, people entered already. It's fantastic that you're all getting involved like that. So yeah, I can't thank you again enough, guys, to get me to this point that I'm doing a thousand sub giveaway. Right on it, guys. Right on it. Nearly there. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a funny thumbs up. And, of course, tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications whatsoever. And again, guys, do you love the retro classics, guys? Those games that will be forgotten in time that need preserving for future generations to enjoy. Because if you do, emulation might be the way forward for you. Whether it's handheld or plug a system into the TV, guys, like a pie or something. Or oh, emulation is definitely the way forward. And I've got a fantastic group for you over on Facebook, guys. It is the Retro Emulation Fan Group. Brilliant place, guys. Tons of videos from, you know, system reviews, emulation performance, tech help videos, and a lot more, guys. We have an ever-growing member base, which is now, I do believe, about 440. A fantastic admin team behind us as well, which includes the nerdy geezer, Lee himself. And we cover all sorts of parts of the world, guys, because we have Wayne, who is in Australia. We have Amy and Nate, of course, who are in America. So, yeah, and the rest of the guys are obviously in the UK. So, fantastic, fantastic, guys. There will always be somebody around to answer your questions for you if you get stuck with something with emulation. Um... Again, set up by me and Nate, my best mate, some time ago, guys. It is ever growing and it is just taking on a life of its own. It's a fantastic place to come. If you just love emulation, guys, it is linked below. Head over and come and join us. Right, and then, guys, I also have my UK Crowd Gaming Facebook group as well, where we cover everything from retro to modern gaming, so from Pong machines, guys, to PS5s and everything in between. You are covered there, guys. Tons of videos again, because other YouTubers put their videos up there every single day. So that's fantastic for content for you. And again, ever-growing member base, guys, to have a banter with and a stellar admin team. So if you just love gaming, again, links below, guys. Head over, ask to join, and I will accept you in no time. 
And then finally, guys, I have a Patreon. Again, guys, there is a video there explaining why I decided to open up Patreon in the first place. Give it a watch and then see if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. And with that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you after that fantastic day, guys, with the boys again. And I'm going to say Auf in, Tschüss and goodbye, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.